So this video, I will be taking the export that we get from our stock screen and using that as the import file into a program that will convert the number digit format of the barcode into an actual barcode that can be used on a sticker and print it out on an in-office printer, whether I'm using laser or inkjet type of printer for uh, getting these labels made. So uh, again, I want to mention that if you need a high quantity of labels because you have numerous amounts of one item in inventory, it's better to do this one uh, from ordering from a third-party printer rather than doing all of the printing on your own if you've got several items in stock that you keep. Um, you can do this for uh, small print runs, medium print runs, but it would be really time-consuming if uh, you needed to do all of this in your office on uh, one day when you're labeling all of your inventory. So I do encourage you to consider using a third-party printer to take care of this for you, but using the export to provide for that third-party printer. But I'm gonna show you how it works so you can test it yourself if you have a smaller amount of inventory that needs labeling and it would work more efficiently for that type of need. So first off, uh, export from the top right. I'm going to use an Excel file, barcode XLS. And when that becomes available, it'll appear down below. Choose the download option. Now, what I'll be using to do this with is Avery.com. Avery.com is a uh, paper items supplier. They make the sticker labels that you can use in a variety of different formats, whether you're using it for shipping or other things. Um, this is not a paid advertisement, by the way. This is simply just a, a useful tool because it's a very popular item. Uh, if you go to an office store and you buy that product, you can use their website because every single one of their sheets has a unique code. That unique code has a template. That template can be used with this file to upload so you have a dedicated file that you can use for printing at home. Really useful. So here's how it will work. If you go to your avery.com website, there will be an option in the top called templates and Avery design and print. And in here, you can choose to start your design. Now you're going to pick whatever you're using from this screen by looking it up through a template number. And that template number will provide you what you need. I'll use something uh, simple. I'll use uh, 30, I, 30 stickers per sheet uh, to make this demo video. And then you can choose select this template. And from here, you can choose one of the different designs. I'm going to choose a simple design. Again, it doesn't matter if you're using uh, stickers that are designed for something else, you can still use barcodes on all of their options. So I'll use select the blank version. And basically what you have is the canvas for the barcode label. And then you have over here a representation of the sheet. And what you've got to do with this information is take the exported file and import it into this program and then organize it how you want it to look and then print it out. Pretty simple. So uh, you would start off by importing your data. So to import the data, you go to the left and choose import data mail merge and then browse for a file. We'll take our inventory barcodes file here and on this page, this is where you're going to be taking the columns and mapping it with the rows. So on your columns, you have name, variant code, supplier item code, internal barcode. Those will be the reference columns for the data. The data will appear below here on each row, which indicates the item name, the item code, the supplier item code, and the internal barcode. And that's pretty much it. We'll just go ahead and use them all because it's simple that way and hit next. Now here you're going to import over what information you want. Now I fiddled around with this a few times already. And uh, what I will say as a tip is uh, you don't need to put the internal barcode over to there or anything that's a barcode field, just let it be for now and then do it separately. So all we want is identifier information here, which would be a name and the variant code or SKU for that item that this particular barcode references. And basically I've got 26 records on this Excel spreadsheet. So I should fill up most of this template, which has 30 stickers. Um, and let's look at how that looks. We'll choose next 
and then this just gives you some tips and tricks and you hit finish. And that's it. So that's what it will look like from that perspective. And then if you navigate to the different individuals, you'll see that this is the name of the item and then this is the SKU, SKU number. Pretty simple. Um, now, what do I do next to solve this uh, for this pr particular use case is here you'll find a more option and the more option has QR and barcodes. Sorry, this button is in the way, but you select that and then you'll choose add a barcode or a QR code. Once that's done, you want to select from the spreadsheet because we've already uploaded the spreadsheet here. This part might look a little confusing at first, but um, since, we've are, since we've chosen to select it from one of the pre-existing data fields that we've already uploaded, you'll also need to select what industry standard format you want to use for your barcodes. Um, there actually will, it will actually tell you if it's incompatible or not. So this is really nice. Um, you, code 128 is selected by default. This is one of the most popular barcode formats, but you can select from any of these here as well. Um, depending on what the digits are in your Excel file for your particular items, automatically generated ones on Katana easily use the code 128. I recommend using that because it's very simple. Um, but having said that, uh, it's uh, simple as that. So, um, but you can select others. And like, for example, if I chose GS1 and then try to drag this over, it'll tell me if it's compatible or not. It says, oh, invalid barcode data. So I can't use that type because it's not the right format. So I'll just stick to, let's say, uh, 128. If that looks good, then I'll drag it over, see if that is compatible. I need to drag it to that box in order for it to work and then it will not give me any error. Okay, I'm good to go. So I just choose finish. And then it'll appear, okay, well, where do I wanna put that item? Um, I'm gonna move it down a little bit. And that's it. That's pretty much all you have to do. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. You know, if you wanna make the colors change or reposition it, no big deal. Uh, you can flip them horizontal or vertical or whatever you want, um, pretty easy. Just to give you a, a flavor, uh, this is what they'll all look like. So we have the barcode matching to the item. And um, that's the format here. And then we'll select preview and print. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You can then print it yourself or you can, you know, again, use a third party and let those guys do it for you in any number of formats. But let's just say we do print it ourselves, and then we'll get the PDF printout. I'll just give this a quick save, and everything is saved and all good to go. And then I'll open up the PDF, and that's it. Pretty easy. So let's go ahead and just kind of do this as a side by side. I'd love to check out and how it works, just to confirm that everything looks 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 good. So I'll put this out to side here and I'll move this one into the pre PDF printable format and I'll open back up my inventory. And what I want to see is just an example here that I have the beige dining room table, which is 10060. And if we're looking at that on our Katana account uh, in the products, 10060 should be the correct file we have for that item. Okay, so here it is, dining room table beige, dining room table beige. And one other last thing I want to do just to check to see if it's working. I have my scanner here and I have this visible on the screen, which you can see at the moment, but you can't see me scan it physically. I want to test that it works actually with the scanner on the barcode that was just made from the Avery website. So we'll go ahead and clear the filters. And the idea is, is I would put the cursor in this location and then scan that item, which is the beige dining room table and it should select it from the list. Perfect, works just as it should. 
And then you can print that up onto your template sheet and then go ahead and label your items in inventory and it will work just as it should with your barcode scanner. And that's it. Thanks for checking out this video. Next up, we'll cover how to use the barcode printer for doing the exact same type of process for one item in your inventory.